Gadkari has questioned the timing of the raids on his group Purfi Power and Sugar Limited. Remember, two representatives of Nathan Gadkari had met officials of the Income Tax Department who had sought answers on several questions related to the dealings of Nathan Gadkari's Purfi group. The questions that they had asked was, how could people who were close to Nathan Gadkari, some of them his drivers, cooks, astrologers, could be made the chairpersons of various parts of Purfi? group uh, Pankaj Upadhyay in fact uh, joins us for more on this story it's but natural Nitin Gadkari now trying to give a political spin to the entire uh, IT department raid Pankaj yeah and he's also evading the media as well we were at his residence uh, in the morning hours and uh, not just the questions which you put up right now but we were also asking him uh, wasn't he finding himself in a very very embarrassing situation because on the other hand it seemed as if Congress had really blown the bugle uh, before 2014 and here BJP uh, looking for Mr. Gadkari really finds himself in an embarrassing situation but he clearly evaded us he did not answer any of the questions and he went away in his car uh, because he has to attend an important meeting in the suburban area of Mumbai but th this is the state of affairs as of now even his body language did not look very very positive unlike last time around when he was pretty positive saying that the outcome is going to be in his favor and the income tax department is going to come out with the results but this time around it was a complete different Mr. Gadkari evading the media evading our questions obviously now that the election is just around the corner he, not just him but the BJP as such finds himself in a very magic position. All right, uh, Pankaj, just stay on uh, because uh, Atish Srivastava, who in fact uh, keeps track of the BJP in Delhi now joins us. Uh, Atish, we believe that uh, Nitin Gadkari, unfazed by all that has happened today morning on the business front, is set to reach the national capital and file his nomination papers today. Give us more details. Atish, can you hear me? All right, we'll try and get back to Atish in just a while, uh, but that's also the news that we are getting in, despite the challenge that he's likely to get from Mahesh Jait Malani, despite the IT raids on his company. Nitin Gadkari is set to come to Delhi in the evening today and file his nomination papers. Uh, when you spoke to him, Pankaj, did he betray any kind of nervousness? You said uh, that he refused to answer questions about the embarrassment, but did he betray any nervousness given how he's facing a challenge on the political and on the business front? Last time round when we faced Mr. Gadkari, his body language was that of a, of a confident man. But this time round, it was a different Mr. Gadkari who was shying away. He stood there for a moment, uh, you know, little nonplussed as to uh, seeing the media out there. But then when he posed these very, very questions, it looked a little embarrassing. There's all of a sudden his body language wasn't this, uh, really of a man who he had seen months back who had said, you know, that uh, IT should conduct its growth and the, uh, the result is going to be in his favor. But this time round, he waited the question, rushed to his car and then just, just fled away without giving any sort of reactions. Okay. Earlier, he would at least talk to us off record saying, you know, whatever had happened, you know, whatever the opposition was saying. But this time around, totally different, Mr. Gadkari. Not even saying a single word, looking a little miffed, looking mm. nonplussed. So the body language really in itself showed the kind of circumstances that he really found himself in. As I said, it's not just a big embarrassment for Mr. Gadkari, it's a big embarrassment for the BJP as well right now.